Hello in 4 h and h here in the mobile, the FT891 and the ATAS120A antenna out there on the left fender. So what I want to show you in this video has to do with that antenna. Uh, this will be another uh, video in the series about the ATAS120A. So, you know, you can just simply press, when you get everything set up, and I've shown you that in the previous videos, you simply press the tuner button and it will initiate a tune cycle. Um, I wanted to let you know what it's doing is it's putting the radio into CW mode, okay? So just hold that thought. Now, you can take the microphone, see, and you, while you transmit, let me, uh, let me I'll, I'll try to pull away and let you see. While you transmit, press the up or down button. You see, I'm throwing my SWR way out of whack. That was the down button. And that's making the antenna go. Look, look at there, watch. It's all, it's all the way up now. Um, so let me, let me reverse that. So I'm going to press push to talk and up. Normally these are changing frequency, but if you press push to talk, it knows, oh, okay, you have an ATAS and we will adjust the ATAS up and down. So watch when I transmit and press this time the up button. Okay, you see, I let, you saw it start to go back, it peaked, or I should say it dipped, and then it started to go back up again. So the only thing about that is, you know, you're still transmitting. It's like when you do it here, it's close enough now, it doesn't need to retune. Let me move it. Move it somewhere where there's no conversation. Okay, so you see it retuned. Well, now, here's what I do. If I'm gonna make an extreme change, so I'm right now on the 40 meter band. Let's say I wanna go to 10 meters, all right? Rather than hold that button, that transmit button and move it up or down, which is gonna transmit, or even rather than, let me move over to 10 meters and I'll show you. All right, so rather than even press the tuner here, which is going to transmit, take a while to get there, one of the things you can do is go into the menu. And remember, I showed you in a previous video how to add this function menu. All right, and the up arrow means I want to go higher in frequency. The, the down arrow means I want to go lower in frequency. Okay, so that, that's really going to mess with your mind if you watch the antenna, because when you press the up arrow, the antenna is actually going to go down because it's shortening the antenna. All right, so I'm gonna, got the arrow on the up and I'm gonna press the function knob. Now look at the antenna. Now, why am I doing it that way? Let me turn the volume up. You can tell it's in CW mode. Okay, did you hear that? Just like when you tune with a manual antenna tuner, you know, you it's better on your radio. And I'm gonna call this video, I think, uh, be kind to your transmitter. Um, you know, you don't wanna transmit a long time into a high SWR. Yes, these radios have a something called a fold back circuit that will protect the finals, but uh, you don't want to push the limit on that, okay? So what I do is if I'm going to make an extreme change, which for that antenna means it's going to run from its uppermost position to almost the lowest position, because it can do two meters and 70 centimeters. Well, for that matter, it can do six meters. So uh, what you can do is just like you do with a manual antenna tuner. Remember the idea with a manual antenna tuner, don't transmit first when you change bands rotate the knobs until you can begin to hear the most noise background noise atmospheric noise you know maybe even watch your s meter and peek it out that means you're close so then when you transmit you won't have you know as it won't take as long to to uh, get it uh, nulled out you know the lowest dip in the swr so that is easier on your transmitter okay just judging by the ear
Yeah, I might have gone just a little far. I'm going to go back. Which down arrow is making the antenna move up. Lower frequency, higher frequency is what that really means. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Let's see if I got... Okay, now to get out of that tuning mode, press push to talk. Oh, there's somebody talking there. Let me move away. No, I just guessed at it. <laughs> Not bad. Just going by ear, okay? Let me let me tap the tune button. Okay, I mean, really, it's about the same. So just be kind to your transmitter and, and try that. Uh, you know, one of the things I'll also show you here is I go into the HF power. Let me, let me zoom in there. And I'll put it on 10 watts. You see, sideband power is 20. Uh, um, uh, sorry, AM is 25. I've got it set there. And um, I've got the SSB at 100. But when it's tuning, I just went ahead and turned that HF power down to 10 um, just to be on the safe side. That tuning, it may be like with some of the tuners. I have to put a watt meter on here to find out for sure. And if somebody knows for sure, you can feel free to comment. Uh, but I believe in this particular radio, this might be one of the ones where the tuner can force it to a 10 watt or 20 watt level uh, for tuning, like you know, external tuners can do. Some of the ASU radios, the newer ones, uh, actually don't don't seem to to do that. But um, I haven't put a watt meter on this to verify. But I, just to be on the safe side, I dropped it down to. HF power 10 watts because it's using HF power whatever setting you have in HF power when you're working CW with this radio. No, that's not very clear. There's, there's, but if you think about it, <laughs> law of uh, deduction, that's sideband, that's AM, that must be other, and it is. And then you've got separate settings for uh, when you're on six meters. And I should probably do the same here. There we go. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I'm enjoying the ATAS so far. Made a mobile contact a while ago to a station in Iowa uh, from here in Georgia. And uh, I, definitely because of where the antenna is mounted, it, the pattern is not circular. Okay, let me zoom out there. The pattern is not circular. So as I was turning the vehicle, I was varying in... Uh, signal strength to him, but it, you know, the lowest I ever got was 5.5, five, and I'll take that. In fact, I got 5.5 five even from sitting here in the driveway. <laughs> so when I parked, I was, I was working him on the way home from a little short um, errand there. So um, I expect that, you know, it's not mounted dead center of the vehicle on the top there, so it's going to have more of a skewed pattern, and uh, so you'll have minor uh, or major lobe, and then you'll have some um, minor coverage in other directions and you'll have a null. So such as it is, but that's okay. Uh, it's convenient. And I was able to talk to Iowa with it. And I've, I've heard from many viewers that they've worked the world on there. So I'm confident it's going to be a really good combination. I still might leave the magnet up there. See the antenna switch so that I can run my 60 meter and a uh, ham stick when I want to operate 60 meters mobile because we do a lot of 60 meters um, here in the southeast. So. All right. Well, hey, thanks. For, thanks again for watching. Like I said, do hope you found the video helpful and informative. And uh, let me press the function key to get out of that menu. And so uh, I appreciate you uh, watching. And I want to thank the Patreon support team who make these videos possible. The associates who are kind of saying a thank you, helping offset the cost of the past videos, uh, the executives who are saying a thank you and uh, helping to offset the cost of current videos, and then the VIPs who are truly paying it forward uh, with their thank you and helping to ensure that the channel can be around in the future. So I do appreciate all of the Patreon supporters. If you'd like to join that team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's patreon.com forward slash n 4 h &H. And as always, please, if you would, click that like button. It costs you nothing, but it helps us out with YouTube's search algorithm. 
Um, that would be much appreciated. And consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. You know, I'm not, it's not fancy or anything. I just like to show you operating techniques and uh, in this case, in this series, you know, installing the ATAS and working with it. Um, you know, with rigs, I try to show you how to maximize the, uh, the capabilities that a radio already has. It, it pains me when I, would, in, you know, I've seen people trade a radio in on, a, on an inferior radio, but they didn't know it, you know. They just had not ever really, truly mastered the radio they already had. So that's what my channel is mostly focused on, and I don't want you to spend money unnecessarily. You'll hear me say, hey, don't buy a five or $600 microphone. You don't need it. These modern radios have more than enough EQ capabilities built into the rig. So, you know, again, that's just a sampling of where I go with this, antenna discussions as well, and CW and what have you. So if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. And also, uh, if you do subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video, usually a couple of weeks, sometimes more. And finally, if you will, please share a link to this video on social media, text message, email, or phone a friend. Thanks again for watching in 73 from N4 H&H.